Exercise may be the single most effective non-pharmacological symptomatic treatment for multiple sclerosis. Yes, scientific evidence and expert opinions suggest that exercise may be the single most effective non-pharmacological symptomatic treatment for multiple sclerosis. And exercise has been associated with a reduced relapse rate and can slow disability progression. It is clear that we can affect our symptoms for the better by exercising. In fact, this paper goes on to state that we should be getting exercise prescriptions at the same time as our diagnosis. Can you imagine this? When we go to the doctor and they say, here's your prescription for your MS disease modifying drugs, and here's your prescription for exercise you need to do every week. If you were given a prescription for exercise, would you follow it? doctor's orders? Let me know in the comments below. Hello, my dear friends, and welcome. My name is Vicki Hatch, and this is Even So, It Is Well. I'm doing a series of videos on MS symptom management, and I will put links above and in the description below if you'd like to check them out. So let's start with what exactly is exercise? Exercise is a behavior defined as planned, structured, and repetitive form of physical activity with the intention or goal of maintaining or improving one's fitness and or health. Oh, we have to have a plan? We have to have goals? Yes, yes we do. Exercise can improve our muscle tone, appearance, mental focus, and feelings of general well-being. And there's ongoing research that is showing it's also neuroprotective. It can reduce neuroapoptosis and neurodegeneration, and it may increase neuroplasticity. What, Vicki? What are all those things? Excellent question. Neuroapoptosis is when our neuro cells die. It's actually when they self-destruct. They orchestrate their very own deaths. Yikes. Neurodegeneration is the lost function of neurons or atrophy, shrinkage, associated with diseases that affect the brain and central nervous system. Neuroplasticity, on the other hand, is our brain's ability to modify and change. It can adapt and form new neural pathways. Think of it as hardware and software updates for our brains. We can literally rewire our brains. How cool is that? There's more and more evidence that exercise can improve physical fitness, walking mobility, strength, balance, cognition, fatigue, depression, symptoms, and quality of life, and it has been associated with a reduced relapse rate and can slow disability. Exercise can do all that? Give me a heck yeah in the comments if you want all those things. This review goes on to report that Overall, the relapse rates across studies were 4.6% for those in the exercise conditions and 6.3% for those in the control conditions. This corresponds to an approximately 27% lower relapse rate for exercise training versus non-exercise control conditions. 27%, that's amazing. Would you like to reduce your relapse rate by 27%? Let me know in the comments. So, how much exercise is recommended? In 2013, North American researchers came up with a recommendation of two sessions of 30 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise and two sessions of whole body resistance exercise per week for those with mild to moderate MS. And the Canadian MS Society recommends general aerobic activity two to three times a week, advanced aerobic activity five times a week, and strength training two to three times a week. Some examples of general aerobic activity are upper body exercise like arm cycling or seated shadow boxing, lower body exercise like walking or leg cycling on a recumbent bike, or combined upper and lower body exercise such as an elliptical trainer. Examples of advanced aerobic activities may be running or riding a bike or swimming laps. Strength training may include weight machines, free weights, or exercise bands. So what's the best exercise to do? The one that we will do, the one that we like. If we don't like an exercise, we probably won't stick with it. Some of my MS buddies inspire me with their activities and choices of exercise. 
They run, they skate, they do trapeze and silks, they do yoga, even on a beach or a paddleboard, and they work out at gyms. They're all amazing. Find what inspires you and makes you feel good. I love to attend Zumba dance classes. When I'm there, I'm having so much fun that I push myself harder than I would with a different kind of exercise. I push through the tingling and the pain in my foot and the tightness and the spasms to finish the workout because I'm enjoying myself so much. I know the symptoms will settle down once I get home and cool down. My Zumba instructor brings out the best in me. She is so fierce and so fun and encourages me to keep my body moving. Find what you like to do and then do more of that. What do you love to do that helps to keep you moving and keep your body in shape? Let me know in the comments below. One exercise that many people with MS find very helpful is working out in the pool. The pool is not just for swimming. There are many gyms that offer classes in the pool like Zumba or dance, aqua aerobics, yoga, resistance training, water walking, and Tai Chi, which combines Tai Chi and Qigong in the water. One of the benefits of working out in the pool is the water helps to keep us cool. Many people with MS have heat intolerance, so the pool is a great place to keep our body temps from getting too high. The water also helps with balance. When we start to lose our balance, it pushes back on us and helps to keep us stable. And the buoyancy that we feel in the water can help make movement a lot easier for us. Some resources that may also be helpful and that I encourage you to take advantage of are a physical therapist, physiotherapist, occupational therapist, and exercise physiologists. Ask your doctor for a referral so you can get an evaluation and get recommendations for activities that are appropriate for you and your MS symptoms. There are also free resources online that can be really helpful. Three of my favorites are Dr. Gretchen Hawley. She has a doctorate in physical therapy and is a certified multiple sclerosis specialist. She has many wonderful free YouTube videos. The MS Gym was founded by Trevor Wicken. He has a master's in exercise science with a focus on biomechanical analysis and has certification in strength and conditioning, medical exercise, and corrective exercise. The MS Gym also has many wonderful free resources on their YouTube channel and their website. And lastly is MS Workouts. They have a team of people that support their program specifically designed for people with MS to improve strength, mobility, and reduce symptoms. They have dozens of free videos on YouTube as well. I will put links to these YouTube channels and websites in the description below so that you can check them out. Exercise is so important to people with MS. It's one of the best things that we can do to help us live well with our MS. It may reduce our symptoms, reduce relapse rates, and improve our quality of life. If we don't exercise, we can decondition, lose muscle tone and flexibility, leading to worsening of symptoms and possibly worsening of our disability. And if we don't have strong muscles and flexibility, we're more likely to lose our balance and have falls, and that can cause injuries. And we're more likely to suffer from fatigue and depression. Staying motivated to exercise can be hard though, right? Some ways to help keep on track with exercise goals are to exercise with a buddy or in groups. I walk with my neighbor almost every day. Because it's on the calendar, scheduled, and with someone else, I tend to keep consistent with it. I also take weekly classes at the gym. Making the financial commitment to the gym and adding classes to my calendar also helps me stay consistent. The bonus is I get social interaction too. I've made some wonderful friends and enjoy being with other people. If you can't get to the gym, consider online classes. There are many classes now being offered on Zoom where you can get together with others live in real time. When we exercise, we feel better, physically and emotionally. Like the ad says, just do it. Another way to help stay consistent is to measure our exercise. What gets measured gets managed. Get a Fitbit or a smartphone or a smartwatch or use an app to track your fitness or simply write it on paper. Lastly, find your why. What is your reason for exercising? I invite you to figure out what your why is. 
Is it to keep in shape, to look good, to keep up with the grandkids, keep up with your friends, to improve your health, to decrease symptoms, to reduce relapse rates, all of the above? Write it down and put it where you can see it. Put it on the bathroom mirror or the refrigerator or on the computer monitor, wherever you will see it every day to remind you of your why. The question of the day is, what is your why? Share them with me in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to sign up for my newsletter and my Facebook page using the links in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, the like icon under the video, and don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Until next time, be well.